Oh boy, what do we have here? This is the latest man toy. Oh boy. Slash tool to find its way onto our property. In case this is the first video of ours that you're watching, Alyssa and I have been developing our off-grid property for about two years. And pretty much every single project, we say to ourselves, man, we really need a laser level. One day, while we were working on building our now hot tub deck, we have a video series on that entire thing up here, we said, this is stupid. We were using a string level and we broke down and we bought the $100 laser level. We actually made an unboxing video in hopes it would work and be really awesome. But let's just say the laser level was absolute junk. That deck is just 16 feet wide and in 16 feet, that level was off by like three inches. <laughs> I was like, what? That's ridiculous. And you couldn't see it even wearing like the red glasses, nor did it have anything audible. So right. it was junk. So we had to do it at night. Yes, we're trying to level our deck at night. Now I'm not saying that this I'm not saying that this laser level will be visible in the sunlight either. We'll get to that as we test test it out. But that one was horrible. Instead, we rented one. And we had a water project that we've been working on and it was extremely important that we get our cisterns tilting and the pipe needed to slope and all this stuff. So, at the good graces of our local rental agency, we rented their Spectra something or other laser level. But it's a manual level laser level. So you sit there and fuss with the thing forever and then you bump it. We actually have been looking for laser levels used However, the quality ones weren't that much discounted and you can't ever really trust the history on such a precision instrument. So after two years of keeping our eyes open, we gave in. It took a lot of research to settle on a make and model. Um, this one is a GRL 300 HVCK Bosch. Uh, we've actually seen this one used a couple of times. The folks that installed our septic for us used a model very similar to this and we were impressed with how well it worked. So we needed a laser level that will do both outside and inside or exterior and interior projects. Right now we're still working on getting the ground uh, broken and working on exterior grading and leveling, foundations, things like that. So we needed something that will work at long distances and we need it to uh, have a receiver that can shoot over long distances for elevation changes so we can slope earth, things like that. Also, we wanna be able to use it inside as we develop our house. Everything from laying flooring to plumbing walls, things like that. This uh, kit from Bosch is just that. It's actually a complete kit. If you go to their website, you can actually see that they offer just like a laser level and a tripod, or they offer kind of different kits that make it easy for particular applications. So this kit is actually designed to kind of be the best of both worlds. So the first thing that's included is a, the technical term is a grade rod. This is used with the receiver to check for depth. The grade rod is collapsible for transportation and storage. Um, it feels sturdy. I like that it's made out of aluminum, so I don't think it's going to corrode. All right, next is a tripod mount. I'm very curious about the quality of this tripod because this is just as important as anything. If you've got a really sensitive instrument that's shooting a line over, say, 500 feet, and your tripod's not sturdy, and it's a little bit breezy, if you've ever done any kind of photography, you know that the tripod can ruin a perfectly good photo. And in this case, it can ruin a perfectly good level also. So it actually has a shoulder strap. I'd say it's pretty lightweight. The fasteners on it are plastic. This is apparently their BT-160 Professional tripod. It does have a quick connect strap to tidy the legs. The feet on this, they're plastic. They've got a foot pedal, so you, or a foot rest or whatever. So you could actually press it into the ground. And these toes are actually rubber. Uh, it may help you get more grip, but it may also soften the ground where you're working or whatever you're working on. Leg adjustments are a simple flip of a lever. 
definitely a tall tripod and that's a full lay on the tripod and let's just see how tall it will go that's pretty tall the hinges and the platform up here are all cast metal uh, they've got nice finishes on them but they're definitely sturdy but down here the only metal here is actually on these clamping pads uh, for adjusting the leg and as far as rigidity on the tripod for a laser level i'd say it's satisfactory you're probably not going to want to put something heavy on this tripod but most laser levels are pretty light does it make you nervous when you pull a couple pieces of cardboard <laughs> out of the box and they're empty yeah it looks like they should have stuff in them <laughs> So clearly this level comes in its own case, which is rad sauce. The case seems adequate just looking at it. Doesn't blow me away with like durability, but I'm hoping the inside is somewhat padded. Where'd you shirt? You have something that's not level? This makes me a little nervous. That's Can you get a close up of that? <laughs> what the heck? First of all, I don't like tiny screws. Tiny screws always get lost. Second of all, renegade tiny screws are always a bad thing. Yeah. Inside, nice, rigid, high density foam. Uh, mayday, well, I think it's the right word. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, so we took a moment here and kind of looked through, but we're missing, I think, uh, four things. There's supposed to be a set of glasses that go with this a target this box i actually spoke in error earlier does come with the wall bracket and it actually has a full function remote control and it's missing so i think we're gonna have to pause this video because Abort. this Abort. is all going back and we'll have to try to get another one on its way so i don't know if i snap my fingers but maybe this will get us to the next video did it work the drama has subsided and Amazon did a good thing and sent us the correct model. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so I don't know where we left off. I think we started kind of like touching things and then we saw screws and we're yeah. like, ah, this is chaos. So let's just kind of work our way around the box and then we'll turn it on and we're actually gonna do a small project together with this. Let's take a look at the receiver and this is the LR30 receiver. One thing notable about this receiver is that it's, it's much more simple. Uh, the other one that we had that was in the, the wrong box, it actually had a display on the back and the front so you could see whether you have the grade stick this way or that way, you can see whether you need to go up or down. And this one is single sided, except it has tiny little LEDs right here. So the only indications you have if you're holding the grade stick away from yourself is this red, red, and blue LED. This is of course the grade stick mount and it's, it's a threaded knob. Put the grade stick in here, tighten it down, and away you go. So it makes it infinitely adjustable. There's a small bubble level here on the top, which is important if you're trying to get extremely precise. You want to make sure that your grade stick is not leaning because the more you lean, you're obviously going to change the height that you're measuring. It has a very nice threaded lock, and that's how it attaches. There's a couple of little alignment dimples here that make sure that it's not uh, tilting this way on your mount and it included a nine volt battery which installs very simply back there everything i've heard from folks say if you're not going to use your laser level for a little while take the batteries out so that does it for the receiver i need to do a little bit of reading because i don't fully understand what this button does this is the volume button which will change the volume of the beeps hmm Okay, apparently I have to read the instructions on that too because I was thinking this turned it from off to low to high and it doesn't. So we'll do some reading and testing on this. Included are a few manuals. Looks like there's a sticker, which I think you're supposed to put on the level, wear eye protection, don't look in the laser, stuff like that. Here's the small manual for the receiver. These receivers are not married to the level, so you can actually buy different receivers that give you different abilities. We'll need to check the documentation, but I think this receiver is accurate to within 1 16th of an inch at 1,000 feet, something like that. Uh, manufacturing certificate and operating instructions. So that's the documentation that's included. Included in this kit is also a wall bracket, which allows you to mount, obviously, on a horizontal or a vertical surface. Completely adjustable and can be used to make precise 
changes. I've not used these much, but I, I totally understand the value when it comes to especially interior work. I look forward to having this in our toolbox. I need to do a lot of reading to understand all of the abilities, but that is included. And a couple other accessories they include are red tinted glasses, which the primary objective of those obviously is to increase the visibility of the laser. Uh, I think probably one of the most common questions, and I'll answer that right now, is can you see it in the direct sunlight? And the answer is probably not. Most of these lasers are not that strong, but that doesn't mean that they're poor quality. You'd be hard pressed to find a laser you can shine in direct sunlight and see. So they include other tools, one of which being red tinted glasses. They also include a target, and this target will help to uh, visualize the laser beam. I believe it will actually light up a little bit easier. I'm not an expert on this stuff. If you're looking for an expert review, this is not a review, this is an unboxing. We have to uh, spend a little time getting used to all of these different tools. In fact, quite frankly, this confuses me. There's a mirror here, which may be used to bounce a line somewhere else. Kind of makes sense but it almost looked like there's batteries here. I don't know. There's something I don't know about this stuff. So anyway, that's included. One feature that a lot of people mentioned they really liked about the Bosch levels was that there was no proprietary battery. So this level and all of its accessories run off of common batteries. This level is powered by two D cell batteries, which are included in the kit. And finally, this laser level includes a full function remote. And why would you need a, a remote for your laser level? Well, one, if you're really far away and you need to make small adjustments, that sure is helpful. But I think the main reasoning behind this is in case you mount it really high up and you need to make an adjustment either to speed the laser up slow it down or change directions, um, which may be an issue, or start and stop the laser too, or even power it off. When you set up a laser level, especially indoors on something that you're gonna be working on for an extended period of time, you do not wanna be mounting and dismounting your level constantly because you're gonna lose your shot. What better way to power on and off if you have it mounted up out of arm's reach than to use a remote? I kinda look forward to testing this out. All right, and of course, the laser level. It's very compact, and it's got very solid handles. I really like how Bosch does this. I feel that their, their levels feel really firm. Um, <clears throat> there are no legs on the bottom of it, so you could set it on the floor, but you're probably better off putting it on your tripod um, than setting it directly on the floor. That said, it is designed to be laid on its side, which will give you a vertical beam, um, so you can do plumbing and leveling using that. What made this kit unique for our work is that it also includes a vertical laser. So not only does it shoot a line here, but it also shoots a line vertically, which will allow us to square things, plumb things, etc. One thing I do notice that's different between the level that we got before, the wrong one, and this one, is that there's no glass here. So this is very exposed, so I would definitely be very careful. Uh, not that you wouldn't be, but uh, I can see that it's kind of delicate. So don't drop things inside the laser head there. So taking a look at the controls in the front, pretty obvious where the power button is. I believe this will change the direction of the laser. And then this is actually a stability monitor, or I think it's called like an upset monitor or something like that. If you bump your level, it'll actually stop. And that just lets you know that something's been knocked loose and uh, you might wanna check your level again. I believe it's as simple as hitting the power button. It'll go back through its leveling and then you're good to go. I kinda wonder if you can actually turn that off because there's actually a button here. Um, it might not be on all the time. I could think that would be annoying because if you throw a hammer down on the you know underlayment of a floor and it knocks your level, this thing would be going off constantly. And finally, this button here, which allows you to uh, turn the laser on to rotate, so it actually will spin a full 360 degrees, or it can shoot a line. And there's varying degrees of line, and I don't remember what the degrees are, but by pressing this button, you can actually make it so it will actually do this, which will shoot a laser line, or you can set it to point, and it will simply stay exactly where you started. Um, I did double check the manual, and you can turn off the shock absorber mode. There's a very nice uh, threaded brass um, fitting on the bottom, which is, of course, for mounting the level. Uh, I would say that's really good quality. 
well, anytime you have a tool like this, the quality starts to show really quickly in things like this. And I believe that these threads are a universal transit thread. So if you already owned a tripod, say you could buy this level without the tripod kit and it should mount right up to your transit. So mounting this laser level to the tripod or transit pod is pretty, pretty easy and very, very nice, uh, large, generous hand tightener here. And the receiver mounts very easily. It's got kind of a rubber grippy type surface. Simply adjust it to fit the grade rod and adjust the tension screw here. Now it's right side up. Forgot to mention that the remote is powered by a single AA battery, which is included in this kit. So we were gonna do a test of the full function remote, only to find out that it's not in fact full function. So there's no power button on the remote. So you will need to be able to reach the power button on the level in order to gain access to the remote. On the level that we rented for our water project, one of the biggest uh, frustrations was that it was a manual level system. And one of the huge attracting factors to these Bosch levels is that they have an auto leveling mechanism in there. And that's how hard it is to level one of these Bosch levels. There are instructions included in the manual on how to verify the calibration on these. It's not difficult, but you will need a room that's pretty, pretty stable to do it. It involves basically shooting a line one direction, making a marking, turning the level 180 degrees and then checking that same line. And if everything's calibrated correctly, those lines should intersect perfectly by rotating the level. So let's go through some of the functions of the level and the remote should be able to do just about everything. So starting at the bottom, this is actually the button that we use to control the speed of the head. The speed is helpful if you're trying to see the line Sometimes going faster will paint a better line and sometimes going slower will help you. When you're using the receiver, going faster a lot of times can help. So there's basically slow, normal, and fast. I think that function actually works on all three modes, circle, line, and point. Which brings me to the second button here, which will change us from rotate to line to point. So right now we're on rotate and now what we are is in line mode. So the head is actually going back and forth and it's painting a line and you can actually change where that line is painted I think by rotating the head. So I'm pushing the button again and we keep getting a bigger line and I think that might be the biggest line. Yep. And now we're in point mode. So it looks like it's not doing anything but there actually is if Alyssa comes around here there's a dot. Let's try to go back to line mode here. So you can see that it's painting a line and we can change that line to be smaller and bigger, a little bit bigger line, and that's a pretty generous line. And we're back to point mode. I will say that up close, you can actually see that laser pretty accurately and it's pretty doggone bright. I wouldn't say it's full sun though. All right, let's talk a little bit about the remote. And it's important that this uh, sensor be facing the level. If you're getting this upper light, I believe that means you're too high, you need to go down. The bottom one means you're too low, you need to go up. And if you can get to blue, you're dead on. So here it says we're too low. So now I'm too high, I need to go down just a hair. All right, you get the idea. Let's give this thing a quick test. We need to measure the distance and amount of drop from our home site to where we're gonna to connect to our septic so that our engineers can help us determine how high to put the foundation. We're actually going to need to shoot a line over here, which will give us the height of our septic. And then we're going to also need to shoot the same line down near our fire hydrant over there and determine the elevation difference. I don't know what the range of the auto leveling is, so it doesn't hurt to try to get this tripod somewhat level. Just give yourself a little bit of a head start. All right, how about we start there? So let's power it on. And I kind of want to set this at about where we want to be over here. I can see my line. It, ironically, it's right in the junction of my grade stick here. So about right 
there. All right, so over here, I'm just gonna set the height of my receiver about right there. So our ground height here is about five feet, four inches. And then what we're hoping to get is a gentle slope coming over here from the home site. Our septic is actually below ground here. I think we'll have to check with our septic company, but I believe it is two feet down. Uh, where the T is. So that'll give us two feet of drop, and then let's go check out what our drop is from our home site to here. So we're shooting a line in nearly direct sunlight. Kind of curious to see how well the laser does in that condition. So it looks like from five feet four, so it looks like we're at five feet seven and a half over here, which means from where my grade stick is to over there, there's all of about three inches of drop which is not good because I think the distance is about a hundred feet. Uh Oh, the good news is that septic's below ground. So I think that's going to save us. We may actually have to raise the house up a little bit. Well, that does it for this unboxing. This is as clean and as tidy as you'll see this laser level for the next five years. Truth. We're getting ready to start building our debt-free home. And that's why we invested in this because we've got just a million projects that'll be used. Uh, this, this laser level will be used for. Pretty quick here, we hope to start doing the earthwork for our foundation. And this is immediately going to start earning its keep as we get all that stuff squared and leveled. Time to put the toys away. Got work to do. You know something we should not do What's is that? not check that cabin for level um, or the garden. We don't need to know any more mistakes. We're, that we've we're made. content to just accept that it is what it is. Yep. And we love it for who it is. We don't judge it because it's not level like everybody yeah. else.